Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Madhura Hegde. I am a graduate student in University of Texas Arlington. I took CSE 2320 under Alexandra Stephen and I absolutely loved her class. And I found that many of my classmates who are taking this course found this uh, course uh, to be very difficult. So I thought I'll uh, use her resources and I'll make a video on my own. It's obviously going to be the same way uh, as she uh, has taught the concepts. I mean, I'm going to teach the same concepts that she does, but I'm going to do it in uh, on my own way. So let's see how this channel goes. So the first topic that I'm going to ch uh, start in this uh, YouTube series is going to be uh, time complexity. Uh, I forgot to mention what is CSC 2320 that is uh, data structures and algorithms and this is one of the most important subjects any computer science student must know because whenever you go to your interviews the most frequently asked questions are going to be from data structures and algorithms so I highly recommend that you are good at it if you are a CSE uh, major so without any uh, due let's get into the introduction so the first thing that we are going to learn in this video is going to be time complexity so what exactly is time complexity so whenever you write a code it's very important to see that your code uh, takes the uh, takes less amount of time to run that is if you have written a very long code with a lot of for loops and while loops inside it is going to take more time and if you if your code is very compact with less loops and everything it's going to take less time so uh, the this is time complexity is like a metric which measures how good you, how good is your code so uh, if if the time complexity is less that means your code is better and if the time complexity is high then it's not recommended that means your code is not good okay so there is one more thing that comes into picture that is space complexity so uh, as i said earlier time complexity is the time taken by the code to run and space complexity is nothing but the amount of space that you use in your program always the space and time complexity are the two important uh, i can say it as features of the program i'm not very sure but yeah like you judge a code depending upon its time complexity and its uh, uh, space complexity so in this uh, introduction we are going to learn uh, or we are going to more concentrate on time complexity and it is usually represented like this t of n t of m t of uh, s and so on so let's look in look into a, a sample snippet and let's see what is the time complexity for it this, this is the very basic for loop i am going to write which is going to be int i is equal to zero i less than n and i plus plus and i'm going to print something so what is the time complexity for this so how we determine the time complexity is if it's a single statement then we consider the time complexity for this one as one that means it takes only one second let's say we we actually cannot tell how many seconds it takes but we can see that for our understanding we can see that it takes only one second okay so but how many times is this sentence going to execute it is going to execute from starting from zero to n right so this is going to be like instead of writing yes i'll write only one so it is going to be the summation starting from i is equal to zero and it is going till n minus 1 right because it's less than n correct and then it's going to be summation of how many uh, summation for whatever the data or whatever the summation that you get down below that is one so here this sentence executed only once and for this one we find the time complexity for the for loop that is this for loop is going to execute n times 
since it is starting from zero it is going to uh, execute n times the statement right so this is a summation going from i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and 1 and we know that summation of i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 1 is same as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus and so on and how many times is this going to repeat it is going to repeat n times why because it is starting from zero so zero 1, 2, 3, up to n minus 1. The total is going to be uh, n times, right? So, when you sum 1 n times, the answer that you're going to get is n. So, the time complexity for this for loop is going to be, t of n is going to be, sorry, t of n is going to be n. So, this is how we tell the time complexity. So, we will be learning about different types of loops, uh, when you have double uh, loop, one loop inside the other and uh, other types of, uh, uh, of loops that you may run into in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.